What's up studio, it's Wilson, also known as Designed by Will, and in today's video we're going to be designing a varsity jacket. Um, just a simple design, nothing too crazy, nothing too complex. Now before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that all the project files for this are on my Patreon at Studio Will, if you just go down the first link in the description, and you don't know how much that supports me and it helps me create more videos for you guys and more content. Um, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first priority for this project is to obviously make the tech pack for the varsity jacket. Now, this is not going to be a complete tech pack, mainly because I don't know any manufacturers that make varsity jackets for one. So I can't get any measurements, etc. But also, I just didn't want to make a complete mock up, mainly because I couldn't find a good photo on um, Google that was high quality enough and the right shape. And also because um, I don't have any varsity jackets to take photos of. As you guys know, I live in Australia and it's way too hot here for all that. So I'm just going through and making a simple illustration of the varsity jacket itself, just to get a basic understanding of the placements and where to put everything. Now that we have that done and we got our shapes expanded, we can finally start designing the actual icons in himself. Now this is where I went wrong. I forgot to do the primary thing where it's sketch and proper research before designing. Now, the one way of making a successful varsity jacket is to always have a theme. When you're looking at examples from successful varsity jackets of brands, they have a theme. Even when it comes to Louis Vuitton and stuff like that, a varsity jacket has a singular theme that's carried out through all through the whole piece itself. That's that's why they call it a piece rather than just a, a shirt or or a hoodie. And you can tell the difference between that and, for instance, like a just a fast fashion streetwear brand where they just make um, a varsity jacket and they're just getting random patches and just putting them on the side. Nothing to correlate with the actual message or meaning behind the brand. Now, for this design, I wanted to call it Design Studios and Revision. Um, many of you guys might not know, but I am looking forward to actually developing my own brand called Revision. I don't want to call it Revision Studios anymore because everyone has studios in their name and it's extremely annoying. Um, but yeah, so we're making revision, um, a revision, what's it called? Varsity jacket. And the whole theme around that is basically being a designer and the memes like you're doing 20 revisions, edit 40 of drafts and like deadlines and stuff like that. So I wanted to carry that theme throughout this whole project. And you guys are going to see what I mean once I start designing these little icons and stuff like that. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, you're going too fast here, Wilson. What are you doing? What's going on? Basically, all I've done so far is just um, traced um, some some drawing tablet pens and a paintbrush in Photoshop, screenshot them, put them in Illustrator and just use the image trace tool to get a vectorized version of those. And for that design banner, basically, I found a reference of Pinterest and I just simplified it a little bit more so it can match the aesthetic of a varsity jacket. When it comes to varsities, everything is a lot, a lot more simplified, mainly because one, um, it tends to be stitched on. So having a more simple pattern is better than having a lot of drawn detail in there. And two, um, when you're thinking about this stuff, especially when it comes to a varsity, producing a varsity jacket is a lot more expensive than a hoodie or t-shirt for instance because there's a lot more there's a lot of, there's a lot more parts and if you're doing these patches and you want them to be like um uh, emboss imprints and stuff like that you don't want it to just be a generic screen print especially when it comes to varsity you want it to be um stitched in there and you want all these um high quality materials when it comes to your pattern so simplifying it as much as you can is the key um, without getting rid of the meaning of the actual design in itself. Um, and you guys see me here just doing the basic stuff. And most of the stuff I'm doing here is just um, path, offset path, offset path, remove the inside, put the script font back on the inside just to give it more character because it does look quite plain and boring when it's just text by itself. And when it comes to varsity and designing patches, they usually have an offset or they have an outline. So we're just creating that look and feel for all the little elements. They just bring the design together like how I've done here with the type at the bottom. And it says practice doesn't make perfect. Uh, it makes 
progress, which is what designing is. When you keep practicing, the design is never going to be perfect, but you are going to get better and people will start noticing you if you do stay consistent in your design. You see me here just um, playing with the type on a path um, thing that you have in Illustrator. So basically you can make any object and then if you hold the type tool in the toolbox or the toolbox area, you get these options and type on a path is one of the options. So if you make a circle and you click type on a path, you can make a pretty um, good type I guess <laughs> instead of going up and pressing effect warp and then arc because arc isn't that accurate especially when it comes to circles and it looks kind of off so this is a more accurate way of getting like a circle type or typing your font in a circle like I said um, making a full tutorial on this would be pointless because there's a bunch of people who have already done this um, on YouTube so just search up um, type in a path and how to use it because it is a really good tool, especially in Illustrator. Now, this is the logo for the brand. Yes, I know it's Y2K, very generic, so unique. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, Y2K logos are still amazing if you can ex execute them properly um, and making them unique with different styles and layouts is the best way. Everything's already been done in design, so don't feel like you have to be some sort of inventor or something because you're going to find yourself in a super hard place because literally great art is just copying, <laughs> which kind of contradicts what I, what I always say. Tend to not copy people, just be inspired. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting the logos and placing them on the, on the Varsity Jacket illustration just to get a full understanding of where... I want to take this in terms of design because I am honestly quite lost because I didn't do any research. Well, I did have a research in Pinterest, but I didn't do any writing down and sketching. So everything you're seeing is just me um, visually sketching in Illustrator. And that's also a way I design. I work backwards. I add stuff, take away and then um, edit. That's how I do revisions in my head while I design. Um, in terms of the little patches, I decided to go with Illustrator and Photoshop as the main motif because those are the tools that I use a lot and it matches the whole aesthetic of being a designer and everything. So it was perfect. And I decided to go with like the old original um, Illustrator and Photoshop logos, mainly for inspiration. At first I was just going to go and just copy them straight in and use image trace tool, but the quality wasn't the best. So I just try to remake them as best as I could without spending too much time on them, just because there'll be little patches on the front or something like that. So I didn't really want to focus on them too much. Right now, I'm just gonna stylize the logo by just doing the same thing, path, offset, path, path, offset, path, until I get a good basis for like a patch or what a patch would look like at the front. Um, because just having the logo by itself did look cool, but then it did look boring compared to the rest of the design. So to keep cohesion and visual elements going throughout the design, I just decided to go with this route um, and add towards the logo in itself so it can match the varsity.
So once I got the final details in for the brand, um, I decided to go back and just edit the back um, design just so it can match the rest of the aesthetic, just like the logo. I like that we said design studio at the back here, but it looked too simple and plain. So I wanted to add that drop shadow, not drop shadow, sorry, that outside path, just to add a little bit more to the look of it and make it look like a patch, like the rest of the design itself. The final design was just an arm patch. And I said it before, I'm just going to write deadline and then put deadline and cursive writing inside of that just to make it look more dynamic and add a little bit more flavor to the design itself. Because I see a lot of people just using the vintage high school font and keeping it like that with an outside path on it, which is which is cool. I know Stussy does it a lot um and other brands because it's simple and it's nostalgic and it matches perfectly with the whole varsity jacket look it's the whole high school font like everything just connects but i just wanted to add my own little flair into that design um and it's either or like it's either the high school font or script font and i just matched the two to make a better aesthetic for myself Just to add some finishing touches to the design, sorry, can't speak there. Um, we're basically just gonna add my studio logo onto the side of the patch, like some sort of achievement or accomplishment. And that's what usually varsity jackets are. They're like for a team or some sort of social club. So yeah, I'm just gonna add those into the design. Now that I'm thinking back on it, I should have added the Patreon logos, like studio team and design team on there. That would have been so cool, but my dumbass didn't think of that at the time so yeah we're just finishing it up and now we're gonna go straight into coloring i'm just gonna fast forward this part because all i did was just um create a new object for each of the selection or each of the parts which is easier than you think you just highlight the expanded object of the jacket and use the shape builder tool which is basically it and i'm just gonna fast forward through that part so we can look at the final designs themselves So what do you guys think about the fun of the design in itself? Personally, I really like this design. I really like the aesthetic and the theme that I bought onto it. Um, the whole vision around revision or revision studios, whatever you want to call it, is just capturalizing the thoughts of a designer from the inside perspective and trying to push like trying to push that motive of like what goes on in day to day life through clothing. And I think that's going to be the motif that I push throughout this whole project when I do start to produce it. I am in the the talks of um, bringing forth a sample for hoodies and shirts and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. Follow me on my Instagram at Design by Will. Um, I give this whole design a solid 9 out of 10, which is a very high rating. It's my first time doing a varsity jacket, and it turned out absolutely sick, to be honest with you. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and make sure to check out Studio Will um, for these assets. 
And also, I'll see you guys when I see you. Make sure to follow me on my socials at Design by Will. Peace. <laughs>